All right, guys, we have a very busy week ahead of us. Pretty much every single week is pretty busy now with everything that we have going on. A lot of stuff we don't show you guys that happens off camera and off the main video script. So uh, we're gonna be doing some more vlog style videos. A bunch of people have reached out and said they really liked the vlog that we did a couple weeks back. So we're gonna jump into another one here. We are currently at the PO box. There's a bunch of boxes that got delivered. I have no idea what's inside the boxes. It could be collections, could be mystery boxes, could be content for the channel. Um, hopefully our box Box of fun will be showing up at some point. Uh, stay tuned for that video. I am so excited to see which Freddy's that we got from this year's Box of Fun. But I'm going to run inside, grab our boxes. We're typically here every day, so they know exactly who we are and everything about the channel and everything. They're very helpful. But yeah, let's go see what boxes we have. All right, so we only got two boxes today, that white box back there, and then this giant U-Haul box right here. It's a little cramped because I have Joanna's car. I've been actually driving her car a little bit more to save on gas instead of driving the Jeep around all the time. Although I love my Jeep and I miss my Jeeps, but right now I'm hanging out with Joanna's car and uh, she's been very good to me here, the Acura. So we got these two boxes. It is part of a collection that we just purchased, so stay tuned and uh, we're gonna be opening these up in a little bit to see what pops and sodas lie inside. I do have to get home though and start packing up all the boxes from last night's auction. All right, so just coming home, there's Alex. What's up, Alex? Hi, Alex. Hi. How was your day? Did you have a good day? I missed you. I know it's hot. You're probably shedding. What is this weather? Why can't there be snow on the ground? Look at all this. Look at all this fluff. If anybody has a husky, you definitely understand. Coming into the kitchen. What's up, babe? Hey, girl. Oh, you're making dinner? What are we, what are we cooking? Wings. Nice. Look at that. Make them instead of fry them since nice. we're doing the healthy thing yeah we're trying to eat dinner earlier in the day because we're usually up late and sometimes we find ourselves eating late so now we're trying to eat dinner at like four or five o'clock instead of like midnight or 1 a.m so i know you've been working yeah are you, you got all... to show that yeah i wanted to show oh, everybody wait, wait, wait i have people's addresses <laughs> yeah yeah no I'll cover up the addresses cover up the addresses oh, so on. this is joanna's workspace we got the laptop the printer and everything so she just printed out all the labels it looks like she's got okay. envelopes full of people's patron stuff patron, right yeah. patron stuff I think there's no addresses cool yeah we don't want to show off anybody's address yeah, of course good. for confidentiality but yeah this is joanna's main working station Got a nice coffee a cup right there. I started doing laundry a little bit of laundry. It looks like you had a cheese stick today. <laughs> I did. Me and Alex had a cheese stick. <laughs> Official sponsor I, of today's. I know. Somebody's probably going to get mad at me because I gave him some cheese and you're not supposed to give him cheese, but he loves cheese and he needed to take his medicine. So it's easy to give him medicine when you give him cheese. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I won't, I won't look at you eating. I'm sorry. And then uh, just because we've talked about it a few times, I wanted to point out uh, this is the giant patron board. We call it the NFL draft over here where we had all the channel members and patrons. Uh, we put them all on a board and then we mixed and matched and we put it everybody in uh, all the different group chats. So that's the giant board that we've been referring to. And uh, I'm going to have some food with Alex here. He's chowing down and then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to get to work. All right, so now coming down to the area of mega operations. So I just want to say shout out to everybody who came out to our Monday night whatnot auction. Everything with the post-it notes needs to be packed and shipped. What we like to do before we pack up all the boxes is we like to group everyone's items together on any of the blank shelves so we know how many items each person has. Some people bought mystery boxes, some people bought, you know, sodas, some people bought pops, some people bought different size pops. So we want to figure out what kind of boxes we need to use before we start boxing everything up. And it looks like Alex has decided to sit right here because this is a very high traffic area so good job alex all right guys so it took us about 20 to 25 minutes but we were able to get everybody's items on top of their corresponding shipping label so over here we have all the bigger orders so people that ordered multiple mystery boxes or oversized pops or orders that in general are just going to require bigger or weirder size boxes which is completely okay because we have plenty of boxes when we have more boxes in our shed we got lots of bubble wrap these are the mailbags that we use to fill up 
with all the boxes once they're packed up and ready to go. Over here, we have all of our more basic orders. So these uh, orders are two pops or one soda and one pop, that, that kind of variation. They require 1086 boxes. And then these two shelves are all of our single orders. So that's one soda or two sodas or one pop, and that fits in a 964 box. So now that we have our two main tables here cleaned off, we can get to packing and uh, we have lots of packing ahead. All right, guys, so it is getting to be very, very late here on Tuesday night. We have a majority of the boxes packed up, but I wanted to show you guys really quick as we're coming down to the last few boxes, just how much we care about everybody's packages. So for instance, uh, this is a box that I just packed up and I wanted to show everybody. Uh, this is one of the larger orders that we received from Monday night. It is from our very good friend, Steve. So thank you, Steve. I'm gonna be using your box as a demonstration here. So we've actually individually packed or individually wrapped all of Steve's pops. Um, also, congratulations to Steve. He pulled one of the top hits from Monday night's pop mystery box. This is the GameStop exclusive OG Supersonic. And as you guys can see on the front there, we put these little labels, these little stickers on the front that let everybody know, you know, which box was it. And since we opened up our mystery boxes live, that's why it says opened up live. So in this box, we have, let's see, eight, we have 12 pops and then we have five sodas. We individually wrapped all of the sodas as well. So they're nice and snug and protected for their journey. Uh, I don't remember where this box is going. Let me see here. This box is headed to Ohio. So we want to make sure there's plenty of bubble wrap. And before we pack up the box and put a bunch of tape, we throw in a little business card and of course, one of our Slapshot Pop stickers. So we're coming to the end of our, what has it been like six or seven hours? A lot of packing. So thank you to everybody who bought something. You should expect to your boxes in the next few days. And uh, we're actually going to show you guys Guys, how many boxes we actually packed up it's quite a few all right guys so we just finished up packing up all the boxes the following day we are waiting for the mail guy to come pick them all up and we thought for fun why don't we put all the boxes in a giant tower so once again thank you to everybody who came over to our recent auctions and of course our patreon members we have multiple patron boxes shipping out as well how do we feel joanna after Great. packing all those boxes all right. You did a great job. Thanks, Blue. Go team. All right. Let's get back to the vlog. All right, guys. So all the boxes have been shipped out and we actually just cleaned up a little bit. We like to kind of do a full reset here in the garage before we get started moving into the next week with auctions and shipping and everything. So um, table's a little bit messy here. Uh, we have a a uh, little collection that we are going to be inventorying today. So we're excited to see all the pops in there. Got the vacuum. We had to vacuum the floor because, of course, it is shedding season for Alex. So he's just leaving hair all over the house. Joanna's right here happily answering patron messages and all kinds of stuff. So kudos to her for all the work that she's putting in right now. Never off the clock. Uh, we do have this whole shelf cleared out. So all those pops have been shipped out, all those sodas. We have one box right here that didn't make the last shipment for whatever reason. So that's going to be shipped out bright and early Monday morning. And then up here, of course, we have our leftover inventory as well as over here from previous collections. And then we have sodas and mystery minis and such. So we like to do a full cleanup before we move into the next week. So for the week. yeah for every week yeah every week we do a full cleanup before we start the week it makes us like start the week fresh instead of putting a mess on top of a mess yes exactly so now we're going to jump into this collection see what's inside and we also have another smaller collection to inventory and you guys will get to see that right here another collection is right here yeah that's the that's the one i was talking about that's oh, the other collection Oh, there's another one in the room. All right, so we have a total of three little collections that to show you guys as a little sneak peek for this upcoming week. All right, guys, so now we're gonna show off all the new collections that came in this week, and this is the first wave of everything that we just inventoried. So we're gonna start out at the bottom here. Uh, like we normally do, we tried to put everything together by the theme. And the first genre that we're gonna be going over is all the Marvel Pops that came in. So 
From the Eternals movie, we have Gilgamesh and Kingo. We still have not seen Eternals. Uh, heard it wasn't too great. We will get around to seeing it at some point, but um, not on our radar at the moment. Up next here, we have the Walmart Glow in the Dark Dark Phoenix from X Men. The Marvel Collector Core Ninja Deadpool, as well as Dino Pool. I believe these came in the same box. Then we have Sprite and Druig from the Eternals. And this one is one of my favorite Miles Morales pops that they've made. This is the Upside Down Winter Suit Miles Morales. And this was a Hot Topic exclusive. Excuse me. We also have the Glow in the Dark Goose Flurkin. It does have the, uh, the Tesseract in there. That is what glows in the dark. Not a great glow. Then we have Charisma from Fallout. We have one random Batman pop. This is the blue and black artist series. Batman still sealed in the stack. Those were Target exclusives, of course. Then we have the colored MTV Moon Person. She-Ra from the Masters of the Universe Retro Toys line. Chester McFreckle, super cute, from the Funko Monsters line. And this is the Spring Series Edition. We also have the Diamond Elvira in her red dress. Funko Shop exclusive El Diablo, as well as the 2018 Summer Convention 5,000 piece exclusive Gil. And then we have Icarus from the Eternals. Moving on up here, we have a couple random Ad Icon pops. We have Grimace, Ronald McDonald, and Mayor McCheese from Ad Icons. All right, and then we have a few Drag Queens Pops, we have the Hot Topic exclusive Alaska, Rupal's Dragon Drag Con exclusive, this is the Diamond Rupal, and then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Rupal. Moving into some gaming Pops, we have the Glow in the Dark Murloc from World of Warcraft. Unfortunately, his insert is broken, so that's why he's uh, nudged over and leaning towards the front of the box. Then we have Lilith from Borderlands 3, Black Hole Bomb, which is a E3 2018 exclusive. Moving on up here, we have some Disney Pops. We have the Box Lunch Earth Day exclusive Miko with Flit. Uh, Joanna is very excited. She's going to be keeping this one for her collection. And she's also going to be keeping this one. This one is obviously not Disney. It is a random Sesame Street pop that we got in the collection. And this is the Flocked Barnes & Noble exclusive Elmo. And this one's super cute. We're actually going to go after most of the Sesame Street pops if we come across them. And now we have, I'd say, about a fourth of the line. All right, now moving into some more Disney pops, we have the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland, as well as the OG Disney Store exclusive Cheshire Cat. This one is a big grail that I know a lot of Disney fans are looking for. Unfortunately, this one is not in perfect condition, but still, nonetheless, very cool to see such an old pop from 2012. So 10-year-old Disney Grail right there. Then we have some Pirates of the Caribbean Funko Pops. These have been going up, of course, because of all the happenings with Johnny Depp in the news lately. We have Davy Jones, which is a really cool one. And then right here we have Captain Jack Sparrow. So very cool to see that one arrive in this collection. And then rounding out wave one here, I actually have the Flocked Toys R Us exclusive Jeffrey. This one will not be going up for sale Monday night. John, if you are watching this and you know who you are, uh, the list you sent over recently, I did notice that this one was on there. So this one will be in your next box from us. And then the last two pops we have from this wave, we have the Target exclusive, The Noid, and the classic Coca-Cola Polar Bear. So a lot of great pops here for wave number one, but uh, we got a few more, so we're going to check them out. All right, guys, so here is wave two of all the collections that we picked up. Now, this is mostly TV shows and a little bit of pop rock sprinkled in. So we're going to start off with some characters from Schitt's Creek. We have Johnny Rose, as well as the NYCC 2021 Fall Convention exclusive Alexis Rose. Then we have the 2021 Target Con Moira Rose, and then another Alexis Rose. From The Simpsons, we have a PX Previews exclusive Glowing Mr. Burns. Then we have Vanya from the Umbrella Academy. We have one random DC pop that made its way in here, but technically it is from the television series of The Flash. And here is Killer Frost. From AMC's The Walking Dead, we have Rick Grimes and Negan. Coming up here from the Umbrella Academy, once again, we have Hazel and Number 5, as well as Cha-Cha. 
From Dinosaurs, we have Baby Sinclair. Then from Masters of the Universe, we have Sorceress. From Xena, Warrior Princess, we have Xena. From Seinfeld, we have Yev. Then from Game of Thrones, we have Arya Stark, which is an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive from 2019, as well as Jon Snow. And with the new prequel show coming out, I'm curious to see if the um, demand for Game of Thrones pops will be going up again. All right, moving up here from the very popular TV series, Squid Game, we have Player 456, which the new Freddy is based off of. Then we have Player 218, as well as Player 67. Over here, we have El Chavo, which they did make a Freddy Funko based off of from last year. Then we have some, finally, some Stranger Things pops. We got absolutely cleaned out of Stranger Things pops over the last few weeks, of course, because of season four coming to a close. We have the Demogorgon Chase, as well as Steve with sunglasses. And we anticipate those pops will be going very quick. Then we have the Emerald City Comic Con 2019 exclusive Diamond Edition Carmen Sandiago. Then we have Sabrina Spellman with her little Salem cat, which is really super cute and I think a very undervalued pop. Then we have Evil Lynn from Masters of the Universe. Then moving up here, we have our Rocks pops. We have Notorious B.I.G., Kagamine Len, and then Megarine Luca. We have Britney Spears. Killers Eddie from Iron Maiden, and then Post Malone. And then rounding out this wave of pops from the very popular Supernatural show, we have Sam, Dean, and the T Hot Topic exclusive Castile. So lots of great pops in here, and I believe that we have at least one more wave of stuff to show off for you guys. All right, guys, this is the third and final wave of all the collections that we pulled in this week. And this is primarily movies and anime pops. So let's jump right into it. The first movies pop we have here is Gremlin from The Gremlins. Then we have Andy holding the little tiny Oscar Goldman doll from the 40 year old version, of course, played by Steve Carell. Then we have The Analyst from The Matrix, and that is a Walmart exclusive. We also have Rabbit from Super Troopers, Data from The Goonies, Fauno from Pan's Labyrinth, also from Gremlins, we have Gizmo. Then from the books line, these two snuck in here, we have Cat in the Hat, which we think is an amazing pop, super underrated. And then look at this, we have Horton. And this is a six inch pop, and um, this one actually has a six inch protector, which is pretty cool. And then moving on up here, we actually have another six inch pop. This is Voltron, also in a six inch pop protector. Those of course will come with their pop protectors because it's pretty rare that we get those in. So we want to keep them on those pops so they don't get damaged. Then we have Sauron from Lord of the Rings, Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon 2. This is the 8-bit Predator GameStop exclusive, of course, from Predator. Then we have the Glow in the Dark Sark from Disney's Tron. Poe, which is an Entertainment Earth exclusive from Kung Fu Panda. Not sure if you guys can tell, but he is actually flocked, which is pretty great. Then we have Durotan from Warcraft, Saruman from Lord of the Rings, Spongebob Squarepants with Gary, and this is from the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Up here we have Lucy from Disenchantment. Now we're moving into purely anime pops for the most part. Then we have Red Eyes Bee Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! All Might from My Hero Academia, Penny from Inspector Gadget, Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. And then we have a really interesting one here that has some pretty good value. We were pretty shocked. This is Cher from Clueless. Um, very cool pop. And uh, yeah, it, it definitely has some great value. Then we have the regular Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Scott Howard, which was a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from Teen Wolf. Up here from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, we have a beautiful six-inch pop, and this is Okami from 2017 San Diego Comic-Con. I want to show you guys the side of this box because the colors and the detail on this pop is just truly phenomenal. So hopefully whoever gets this will uh, take it out of the box and enjoy it for um, you know, all its beauty because it's it's really a magnificent pop and it does have some great value. All right, up here we have Squidly Diddly, which 
now I actually know who this character is thanks to the soda that came out recently. So pretty cool to see the pop finally. Then we have Gara from Naruto Shippuden. And then check this out, guys. We actually have the NYCC official con sticker from last year's NYCC and conjunction with their ECCC 2021 Festival of Fun. We have Dodoria from Dragon Ball Z. And then we have another big one here. This is Black Star from Soul Eater. And then we have a pair of Gokus from Dragon Ball Z. We have Goku, and this is the Hot Topic exclusive, as well as Goku Black. Moving into a pop here from Fairy Tail, we have Gajil, and this was a 2019 Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. And then we have Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Coming up here to the top and final row, we have Bean from Disenchantment, King Zog from Disenchantment, Todoroki from My Hero Academia, Helga from Hey Arnold, which Joanna is actually going to be keeping for her Hey Arnold set. I believe it should be complete, but I have to double check on that. I know she's getting pretty close to having all the pops. Then we have from Rick and Morty, rounding it out, we have Wasp Rick and the Box Lunch exclusive Tiny Rick. So that is going to do it for all of the pops that came in the collections this week. But we will break down everything that you guys need to know when I'm back in the chair in just a sec. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's vlog. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the recap of everything that we do aside from our normal content and everything that goes into all the behind the scenes work that we do here at Slapshot Pops. If you guys would like to see more vlog style videos and more of the hard work that we put in off screen, uh, drop it down in the comment section below. We actually enjoyed putting this vlog together, taking little clips here and there throughout the week. So we'd love to do more of these style videos if you guys are enjoying them. Also, I want to give a uh, quick public service announcement to all the Patreon members and channel members like we've been doing the last few weeks. If there's anything that you saw in today's collection haul that you need for your personal collection, please reach out to us by 6 p.m. Eastern today. Um, just we will, of course, take that out and put it aside for you if you'd like to grab it for your personal collection. That's just for channel members and Patreon members. If you guys want to sign up for our Patreon, the link is in the description below. And if you want to join and become a channel member and an official team member here of our Slapshot Pops family, all you have to do is tap the join button right next to the subscribe button and uh, it is $3.99 a month and you get exclusive access to all of our group chats. Uh, of course, you get little emojis and uh, little stuff that not everybody gets to use during live streams and we truly appreciate the support and we, that's why we like to extend um, any you know first dibs on any of the pops that come in from these collections to you guys first. After 6 p.m., we are going to be building tomorrow night's mystery box. That will be posted tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern in preparation for tomorrow's whatnot auction. If you guys want to go bookmark tomorrow night's auction, uh, feel free to go ahead and do so every single Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We are live on the whatnot app. Last few weeks, we've been having a great time doing a mystery box run. So if you guys want to get in on the run, uh, make sure to stay tuned for tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you're following us over on Instagram for all of those announcements. Guys, we have a massive week ahead starting out with tomorrow. Hopefully our box of fun will finally get delivered. Us living in uh, Boston, Massachusetts puts us about as far away as possible from uh, Funko all the way on the West Coast. So that is why it is taking so long for our box of fun to show up. But according to the tracking, it should be here tomorrow. And I'm just absolutely dying to bust it open and find out what Freddy's will be, we will be adding to our collection. So with that being said, guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the vlog. Subscribe if you're new. We are getting very close to 10,000 subscribers, and we absolutely can't wait until we hit this milestone so we can celebrate with everybody that's been helping us on our Funko YouTube journey. As always, we hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and, and don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all very soon.